a chicken in the sink. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chaos. Cooking with Chaos is brought to you today by... Butter. That's right. Butter. And butter is the key to roasting a good chicken. <clears throat> so here's what we do. I'm going to melt some of that butter... And then I'm going to rub it all over that chicken. It's going to be slathered with butter. And then, and then, now here's the key to roasting a good chicken. You do not put onion in it. You do not put garlic inside it. All you do is you rub the chicken with butter, and then you season the crap out of it. You use such things as a paprika. Oh... Uh, if you can get it in your area, Healthy Habits Martin Seasoning. It's got everything. Everything. It's got sea salt, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, cayenne, and parsley leaves powder. Now, I know you. I know I just said you don't put onion or garlic in the chicken, but I'm talking about the actual bulbs. You know, you don't, you don't cut up an onion and then shove it up the birds, you know. You know, you simply, you avoid that. You just use the seasoning. Seasoning. So, Martin, Martin season, that's got pretty much all you need. Um, uh, the seasoning salt isn't bad. Either. Johnny's seasoning salt, if you can find it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Some pretty good crap there. Um, yeah, so just, you know, go crazy. Oh, and uh, got some garlic pepper here. Garlic pepper! Just now, make sure you grease the pan. You know, a little, little grape ola or olive oil. Whatever. And you preheat the oven to uh, 350 degrees normally, but, 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 but. Actually, if you want a crispy skin on that chicken, and <laughs> rubbing it with butter will guarantee a crispy skin. But then, for the first, like, 15 minutes, you cook that bitch at 450 degrees. Just hot. Hot as hell. And then, and then, do you mock me well? And then you, uh, then you turn it down to 350 after like 15 minutes or so. Now, here's another trick I figured out. Uh, you know, mo most, most of us will, will, will set our chicken breast side up in the traditional, oh jeez, I got a chunk of liver on my finger. Ew! Always have hot, soapy water to sterilize your hands after handling a dead chicken, okay? I mean, these these are decent chickens. We get them from the Amish. There's a colony, a Hooterite colony. They grow free-range chickens. These buggers are huge. They're like six pounds each. So, uh, and organic. So, uh, anyway. Anyway, what was I saying about the... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah about roasting the chicken. Now, you know how breast meat, the white meat tends to get a little dry because it, it you don't, well, that's why you, you do not roast it the whole time laying on its back. You start out by laying it breast side down. Let, you know, the juices soak into the breast meat and then after an hour, you flip it over. No mess, no fuss. <laughs> Roast chicken, yes. Um, and that's, that's about all the facts I can uh, give you for now, but um, two hours. Yep, two hours at 350 degrees. Remember, the first 15 minutes, sear it at 450. But only the first 15 minutes, and you turn it down. This also helps if your chicken is still partially frozen, which this one is, which kind of, you know, pisses me off. I mean, look at that. The liver is stuck to the roof of the cavity. 